Uh oh. Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Ancestors. Where we last left off, we saw a meteor fall from the sky. There's the smoke. I went back home. I looked at a few things, and I went back home, and I forgot to save. So, it auto-save, and the only way you can really force it is to, like, lay down and look at your evolution tree, and then that saves. And I forgot to do that before heading off. So, uh, we're back here. And don't worry, because on the way back, I'm like, wait a minute. We should take advantage of this. Brambles that we can look at. Look at that. Now, before we go any further, I need to, uh, be honest with you guys. Uh, this episode might be a bit weird. Um, Anyway, let us resume. Look at this spiky bush. We actually have two babies on it. That's a stick. That's the stick you're holding. Can we just grab some of this? Grab some of it. Grab. Grab some of it, man. I know you can. You've done it before. You've highlighted it before. Let me phrase that. You definitely have in a previous thing. Here, can I... Can I just, uh... Yeah, see, this is spooky. Look how spooky it is. Cool, now... Okay, oh, well, this is upsetting. Look at it! Apparently I cannot interact with spooky spikies yet, which is upsetting. I thought, thought I could. Oh well, when we learn to throw, I'm gonna just start chucking things at other things to see if it does what it's supposed to yet. Like, see, here's rocks. Just... Can I just... Ooh, new rock. Lick it. Oh, you didn't lick it this time. Basalt. Cool. Um... I forget which rock you use with which rock, but you can use rock with rocks, and I think that makes something. I don't, don't quote me on that. I don't remember much of this game, and I'm not 100% mental, mental faculties right now. I got serious monkey brain while playing Return to Monkey Sim, so it's all good. It's all good. We'll be saying that a lot today. <laughs> it's all good. Don't worry about it. Get off my back. You smell bad. Alright, so this is what I should have done before uh, quitting, because it will save when I leave this map. Um, straight up, we might have enough points to get everything. Item manipulation. Come on. Yeah. That feels good, man. The ability to switch an item from one hand to the other while moving is acquired. Nice. That's going to be incredibly useful. Oh, what else we have unlocked? Uh, uh well, what do we have here? Let's get the basics out of the way. Uh, the range for detection of non-edible resources is increased. Okay, good, good, good. That's that's good. And can we go for this yet? Nope. I think the baby has to grow up before we do that. Don't quote me on that. Handling. Once can I be possible to drop an item? Well, I assume that meant said moving. While moving, yeah. Okay, we're able to do more. That'll be good, that'll be good. We don't have to like stop if we're being chased or something. Can we scoop? No, we need to drop sphere. This will be a liability, uh, dropping the sphere in order to uh, drink. That'll be a huge problem once we start wandering outside, which I hope to do this episode. Uh, we already tried interacting with the beehive, so next we're gonna go to the bird's nest. Um, the thing with birds in this game, if they work the same way they used to, we'll see the hard way, probably. Um, first of all, eggs give a lot of food and their protein, which is great. Oh, wait, no, 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 no. actually, yeah, no, we actually do need that. Stop eating my things, though. I need those. Uh, one of those things. One of the things I might do to grind is just like pick these plants before we. 
I think your stockpiles can go with you when you grow up, but um, if you don't age the apes, then it will have to like regrow over the course of a few days, I think. Don't quote me on that. It's not immediate is the problem. So if they eat all the horse horse tails, I can't get that don't break your legs bonus. Um, and that's not good. Alright, I'm seeing if there's something here. I remembered this. Yeah. We got reeds here, right? Alright, we're gonna look at the reeds. Can we look at the reeds? Inspect. Evil butterfly. Fishing spot. Okay. Then we take the pointy stick and we poke at it. Spear fishing! Yeah! And if I remember correctly, this is a limited resource that, um,. Before we age up, everybody, we're going to want to exhaust all of our limited resources beforehand so that they're replenished when we age up. Wait, did I not inspect it? Inspect. There we go. Oh wait, I did this all without a baby. Fuck. Come here, babies. Come here, babies. Get on my back. You get the stomach. You get the shitty one. Alright, um... So we switch hands. Altar? I didn't spearfish much before. Fish. Cool. Now we inspect fish. Ooh. That is in fact fish. It's a bass. Shut up, burb. Uh, eats fish. And we got food poisoning, yay! And we're gonna just kind of cycle out the poisons. And we almost have the non bone breaking uh, thing. Whoops. Probably should have thought of that before. Anyway. I'm gonna grab the sphere. Sphere. See? Now we got fish. Uh, we cannot digest fish, though. So that's something we're gonna have to work on. Um, I assume eating more and more things we can't digest will lead to us getting better metabolism upgrades. Don't quote me on that. Alright, so we're gonna go to the first big dangerous challenge um, of this game, if you're playing it right. Or, like I used to, I should say. Um, there is, uh, a dead hominid up there. First of all, we're gonna want to go and identify the dead hominid in person. Second of all, they died in a nest. This is the ape that died while we were, um, I'm gonna actually leave one of the babies here. Um, this is the ape that died in the opening cutscene. Okay. We're gonna go identify their corpse. Uh, there's a reason for that. We'll get into that. And... It's gonna be dangerous, because if you go to a nest, one, there's eggs, which are nice. Um, we might want to leave the sphere here, too. I'm gonna just... drop a baby. And that's because if we die, I think I mentioned this last episode, if you die with two babies, the two babies are left alone and can die. They're, they're ran by the AI and they're dumber than fuck. Um, if you have one baby, you control that one baby and can make that baby uh, hide. We might be close enough that the baby can just go home. Um, but you can control a baby during that situation. So, what we're going to do is we're going to go up to that nest. Now, birds so that they're not, like, super unfair and swooping us down like they would our real ancestors. Just swooping us wherever, you know? Um... I'm not looking at these branches correctly. I'm not the best climber. It's been a while. In 
In fact, this is a very bad starting point. <laughs> oh. Woo! Aha! Okay, uh, <laughs> now we know why the apes make those noises. It's not because of the air sacs and that make them, uh, <laughs> shout louder. It's, uh, <laughs> because that's them going, oh shit, over and over again. <laughs> um, go down here. Go ahead and stop climbing. Thank you. With your hands, I mean. Okay, so, what we're gonna do, we're gonna go up there. If you are close to a nest or any other designated bird spot, uh, I think there's two types of birds, don't quote me on that. Uh, they will swoop down and kill you if you stay too long. So you got to haul ass whenever you go to a bird area. I've never been swooped by a bird in gameplay, but I've seen people who have. You need to, like, we're, we're probably in the danger zone right now. I think it's an auto death. Like, straight up, you got to move. We're taking too long. We need to move. I don't know how safe is safe. <laughs> Look at this egg! We shall make the best omelets! Or if you're like me, you like egg raw. <laughs> uh, fun fact, you can eat egg raw. You can digest most of it. In fact, you actually get slightly more nutrients out of it. However, you need to keep in mind, one, it uses up biotin. So if you or someone who needs to keep track of your biotin levels, do not eat raw eggs. Uh, there's a chemical fusion kind of thing that happens, and you will lose biotin by eating eggs. Raw eggs. It's fine if you cook them. Um, and we didn't in inspect the corpse, which is what we need to do, but whatever. Uh, drop egg. We're gonna go up there, inspect the corpse, go down, probably rest a bit. Um, no, not that. I hope we still have the inspect dead thing. Be really bad if we don't, and I'm just wasting everyone's time here. At least we're gathering eggs. This is one of those resources I'm definitely gonna like do off screen or, or before the uh, thing. Analyze. Grab it. Worth it. Okay. Analyze in the corp of a friend generates neurological energy, other actions, use it for evolution. Oh, resting on sleep is fine. So yeah. Um, inspecting the dead of one of your tribesmen, uh, or otherwise a friend, will, uh, give you, uh, a, a huge boost of experience. It's great. Speaking of huge boost, if I remember right... Yeah, you could just eat it, okay. Then we had to break it first. Coming omnivores, your lineage cannot assimilate nutrients from zygote eggs. Uh, also known as eggs, kind of food yet. Zygotes improve dopamine capacity. Coming omnivores through neurological development. And of course, they eat the other fucking egg. I, I get why they do that. Like, AI-wise, so they're all fed when you're fed kind of thing. But it's, it's still annoying. So you since now, what's-his-face is probably poison. Yeah, uh, protein for obvious reasons, really good for nourishment and stuff, uh, but usually the most difficult to obtain, and as you saw before, we don't have the, uh, the ability to really digest it. <gasps> Rock! Smell like rock! Tastes like dirt! Liftable rock! Lift it. Lifting! And I think I broke my stick. I think I need a normal stick. Or like a clean stick. I don't know. So now, they added this thing where... 
I'll tell you what they're used for, right? Yeah, sleeping spot and something else. So, give me this. Damn it, I forgot how quick it is. Ah. Okay, okay. So this, I remember this. I remember this. I, re I remember this. There we go. Stripping. We now have... A, s a poking stick. A very gentle one. I don't think this is for lifting. This is for poking. Which we use for our little buzzing friends, if I remember correctly. Something like that. It's not the pointy stick, so... <laughs> I, ch I woke up and chose violence, and that was the problem. I need to wake up and choose less violent violence. You know, monkey. Yeah, see? Dip. Look, we got honey! Sniff it. Lick it. Consume the bee, bee spit and flower sperm. I love it's just called Mel. Anyway. Yeah, oh, yeah. Actually, this is probably one of the tastiest things they probably can eat. Um, and we're immune to venom now. And, uh... I mean, obviously they like fruit a lot. Fruit's tasty. Uh, but, uh, honey? Probably, yeah. Um, so I wondered throughout my life, like, how come apes don't have, like, big teeth problems? And they do get a little teeth problems, like most animals. I did on a beehive right to at least twice. Um. We're gonna dip that and just keep it. I don't remember if- I think things can spoil. Maybe. Maybe not. Alrighty. Let's take a look at our evolution. Yeah, see? Lots of neurological points. We're doing great. Uh, it's very quick movement towards the early game. Obviously, later game, you're definitely gonna be like, Oh no, I need more neurological points, way more. Spatial perception! Ooh, look, it's draining like an orange. The range for detection of non-edible resources is increased. That's nice. Ooh, very nice. Sensory memory. What one's this one? Contextual orthostasis. Let's go for this one. The ability to detect more distant elements through intelli intelligence is acquired. So our ability to see things, basically. Equilibrium! Ooh. That feels good. Standing upright at will to walk a few meters is acquired. Perfect. Ooh, and we can keep going. Carrying ability, yes! Come on, can we make it? Oh, just, yeah. Ability to carry an item using both hands is acquired. Now I think we can interact with the bramble. And I will show you the second most uh, useful item in the game, probably the second most OP one, uh, sensory memory. Inspection of the quality of a food source is faster. Nice. Gonna be useful. Alright, I think that's all we got for now. But yeah, look how fast we are going. Perfect. Okay, now we got a we got a blunt stick now. Nice! Use sharpened stick tool at least twice. Cool. And what is this? Mushrooms? Alright. Well I'm gonna take these back home before using them. I if I remember right, I think you can get high. Don't quote me on that. Uh but in case we're poisoned, there's a river. Oh, well, we're gonna be poisoned anyway, because we can't digest it. Let's see just how poisoned. 
All right, bottoms up. Nice, okay. We have gotten poison immunity. We have venom immunity from the bees. Poison immunity. But we still cannot digest uh, the mushrooms. All right, let's let's test this out. We use this yet? Yes! Great, perfect. All righty. All right, let me grab this. And now, okay, we're gonna drop it. Or we're gonna inspect it. We gotta inspect it. I'm about to present to you the most. An accurate part of this entire game. And one of the most OP items. And we might need some sleep. Ooh. A greater distance can be traveled while moving on two legs. Nice. Okay. Yeah, okay. So what this does is completely break the game. The most inaccurate thing of this entire game... We can build walls. Who can build thorn walls that stop predators? Or help stop predators, I should say. Uh, they can- most predators can jump over them, but if you put enough down, it will, uh, add up. Uh... Inspect? Oh my god, salad! Actually, these are extremely useful, especially uh, if you end up like going during a rainstorm or something. These are pretty much, you know, like mandatory. New spear, what's up, buddy? Woo! What's this? It's a new fruit, I believe. The poke fiber. Why? Oh yeah, you had like this once where they rub it on themselves. Yeah, now we're less likely to bleed to death. And I also think it might cure bleeding. Which, definitely gonna need. New fruit, what this? It's coconut. <laughs> There's a stinky coconut. <laughs> Congratulations, you found the, the, the fruit that will uh give rise to civilizations and the, the oldest colonizations of uh human history. I should really figure out what those things, what that is. Oh, oh snake. Yeah, snakes are deadly. Close enough to identify you? Saving. Well? Oh, 
Eastern green mamba. Deadly snake. Cool. Woo, we got a evolution feat. Be a shitlord towards a snake. Communication. Get the fuck out. <laughs> Is that an ape? Fellow ape? What? Fellow ape? Follow me. You're my friend now. We're having soft tacos later. Okay, so what we're gonna do? Drop the stick. Grab a rock. Use the obsidian as a tool at least twice. Okay. Sniff the coconut. It's delicious. I actually do not like raw coconut, but <laughs> I could get used to it. And we'll save that for the morning, I guess, because we need to sleep. See our evolution. Woo! Self empowerment. Once connected, clan members will have the capacity to automatically mim mimic an intimidation or ac the action of conquering fear. Nice. Once connected, be able to ask a particular kind of member to approach. We definitely want this one more. While following you, clan members will are able to automatically mimic an intimidation or the action of conquering fear, which will be useful. More apes equals me more in, in intimidation. We have enough. Ooh, yep. It's now possible to ask from a different distance. Some clan members can come closer and follow. We do it from the census menu. All right, I think that's it for now. Nice, we're doing excellent. All right. Now we drink coconut. Nice. Okay, we're not done yet though. Yeah. Now sniff it. No, the other, the other one, the other one. Now sniff it. Yeah, cool. Doing really good. All right, now if I remember right, scrapers. Uh, I think they cut tr tree uh, branches quicker. Don't quote me on that. Yeah, much quicker. It's good to have one of these. Are you another one of my tribe that been wandering around all funky? What relaxing music to die to. Die or take over the world, one of the two. Either way, there'll be no survivors. There's my eight brethren. Hello. Uh, careful. <laughs> hey. Recruit, you convince outsiders to join your clan by meeting their needs. Uh, you're dizzy? Uh, does that mean you're, uh, dehydrated, probably? Yeah! New friend. Cool. Um. 
You're my friend now. So, you might be thinking, oh no, you've already used up all your, you know, chances to have babies. Don't worry. Uh, as we established earlier, you can totally, uh, you can totally mate with, uh, elderly males. In expedition, I bring friend. Alright, let's check out our evolution. Yeah. Nice, okay. The range for detection of a sound source is increased. Tap X to use your senses and choose the sense of hearing. Then follow the steps proposed by the contextual AI. UI, sorry. Action UI. That's smelling. Evaluation speed would be nice. Form recognition. Ooh. This one. Automatic identification of resources of the same nature close to the target is possible. So if there's like a whole bunch of leaves, it'll identify all the leaves at the same time. Do we have enough? Ooh, just short, but we do have enough for this. Nice. Alrighty. I think we're doing excellent. Okay. New thing. There we go. Let's see here. It's African giant mombin. I have never heard of it. No, with the exception of probably this game. Well, I guess we found breakfast. Woo! Alright. Uh, assign... Let's see here. Smell... An item with two hands will be improved. Carrying. And then, there's the last one over here. New communication skill. Ooh. We'll go ahead and grab this one. Dexterity. Movement speed while carrying an item using both hands is increased. Yay! Mirror neuron. Ask clan members to mimic. Once connected, it'd be possible to ask clan members to mimic the grabbing of an item, then eating it as if it is food. Blech. Might be useful later. Odorant chemo. I mean, chemotopy. Just enough. Automatic identification of non-threatening smells of the same species near target is possible. So that'll make that a faster process. Oh, we didn't get this one. Evaluation speed. So that's... Probably need to focus on that. <laughs> Alright, so we might consider going on to a next generation. Um, when you do a generation, you must be an adult, be in your clan's active settlement, and the clan must have at least one kid. All reinforcements must be done, if possible. 
So basically, if we do this, this saves certain things to be memorized in the next generation. In fact, we might want to just go ahead and do this since we've unlocked so much. Um, yeah, let's, let's, let's go ahead and go on to the next generation. Rather, rather than ex have to uh, repeat a lot of this stuff. Damn. Okay, well, this is the four we're keeping. Never mind. <laughs> on to the next generation. <laughs> The neurons that have not been reinforced will lose their energy and will have to be refilled. Un unborn babies will be lost. Do you want to pass to the next generation now? Uh, yes. Fifteen years later. Spontaneous genetic mutation. A kid with a genetic mutation has fully grown up. If this adult stays alive, the singular genetic potential will be effective for the whole lineage at the next evolution. Yay! Metabolism! That's something we definitely want. Okay. So. Now we need to get new kids. Uh, the fucking thing is still here. Fuck yeah. Alright. So, uh... Okay, so look, we get all this bat- we have all this locked in. Metabolism is one we definitely want, though. Cool! Now let's go make babies! Uh. It was weird, but we made it work. Okay. I have an antique from- from my forefathers. Sharp stick. We might speed through a few generations or so. Just try to... lock in a few things. Two hours later. Is simulating nutrients from the dupe kind of food? Ooh, what do we have here? There she is. There we go. Actually, wait. I thought I was looking for a male. You know what? I'm not complaining. More females means more kids, right? Like, shit. got a headache, so I need to find a, uh, coconut. And look, there's another one down there. It was at this moment that he knew. He fucked up. No! Oh! 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 Are you okay? Oh my god, we survived that! <laughs> Holy shit! Hey, 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 lady! Lady, lady, uh, uh... Here. Yay! I, I, 
uh, it's a lady, which is good. That means uh, more more babies. We can have more than four now. Honey, I'm home. Check it. I found somebody. Come here, come here, lady. Come here, we're gonna have such fucky times. No, I meant, I meant good time. Well, we're the same thing in this. I mean, we're apes. We, we got nothing better to do. Interesting. So now we got... Um, another female. So that's good. All the way over here. Imitation. Alright, and where's the other ape I saw? Befriended a scared outsider, huh? All right, come on. This one was easy. Let's go. Okay, now we're cooking with bacon. Like, my god, much better having six instead of four to work with. Uh. Still got a lot to unlock, though. Oh my god. All these reinforcements are gonna take a while. 2,000 years later. Alright, we are back. And, uh, I went ahead and reinforced everything we've unlocked so far. Um, including one minor, like, movement one that I unlocked to, to get the equal amount. And now everything's reinforced. And we don't have to worry about that for a while. Um, assuming all of our kids live, we get six reinforcements for this generation because we have six children. And so our goal right now, our immediate goal, is to unlock six of these dualies to reinforce them for before we go to the next generation. Uh, that in mind, I think it's time we do the dumb. Uh, we are playing as an adult female who is no longer fertile. Good. And the child we have on our back does not have any, uh, special mutations or anything like that. Which means they're expendable. I know that sounds bad, but that's important. Alright. So now we have a sharpened stick. We're going to go be aggressive. But first, we're going to need to do something about being cold. I say that as it's starting to clear up. Whatever, it also gives us a bonus against breaking bones, which we might need. In hindsight, we probably should have ate some honey too, considering what we're about to harass, but... All right, so we're about to go harass a snake. Uh, there's a snake somewhere in our immediate area, and I think that would be a good intimidation target um, to practice on. Not to mention that it will uh, be a relatively easy kill now that we have sharpened stick. I might be wrong in this assumption. Which is why we're playing expendable characters. <laughs> oh, there, 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 there. I almost walked right over it. There we go. Alright, let's go harass it. I forgot how to harass. It's like B. 
Get off the thing, yeah. Intimidate. Yeah, see? Now it's running away. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, no, 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 it's gonna come right towards us. <laughs> we discovered giant warthog, though, that's cool. I didn't even see Piggy. Let's rock. We honestly don't really benefit from killing the snake or the boar quite yet. Um, because we don't get, we don't, uh, we can't digest meat yet. So we basically have a bunch of food that would make us sick. I, obviously that's not particularly ideal. See y'all good. If I get really lucky, then one animal will kill the other. Which I'm not particularly uh, depending on. Identify a few things to get back our calmness. Okay, so this pig is going to be a bit of a problem. <laughs> Leave me alone, I just want to harass the snake, not you. You are a future target. <laughs> Let's do the dumb. We're gonna fight the snake. Worst case scenario, we know where some honey is. Actually, real quick. Yeah. We'll get some Kopak on us. Ooh. Lag almost made me fall. What the fuck? This is one of those games that plays fine on my computer, but OBS is like, nah, I don't like this. Ooh, intelligence. There we go. There's something. Now we need five more things like that. <laughs> Ugh, that was weird. Oh, look, bird. I don't think you can do anything with those birds. <laughs> Let's continue harassing the snake. <laughs> Oh, 
look at that. That's pretty. Burb. So many burbs. That's nice. Alright, let's check out what we have unlocked. Form recognition. Automatic identification of all resources of the same nature is possible. So things go quicker on identification. There we go. See what I'm trying to unlock. Uh, intimidation can be improved. That one's gonna need a genetic mutation though. Uh, group imitation. Intimidation. So I, I need to take the whole group. That's my problem. I'm doing it alone. That requires a mutation. I need a very aggressive baby. Um, so that that that's that's where we're having a problem. I need to just take everyone along with me. All right. Um, let's take some more expendables. All right, let's go. Our pack of like three apes are gonna take on this snake or scream at it a lot, I guess. Let's go scream at a snake. All right, we're gonna scream at the snake now. Counter attacks. Oh, I accidentally killed it. That was an accident. I was meaning to scream at it. Sniff it. Sniff the dead snake. Um, we need a new sharpened stick, like, ASAP. Do I need, like, something for the snake? Oh, Butcher, there we go. Just smack it with a rock. I'm a very angry lady. Alright, um, hmm. Now I need a new stick. <laughs> okay, so I guess the new idea is we're gonna get a new pointy stick. Maybe give pointy stick to our brethren. And then go intimidate a boar. A warthog, I guess. Because, uh, I did not mean to kill the snake. That was an accident. I mean, we can't even properly eat the meat. <laughs> oh, would you look at that? Gross motor skill. The success rate for using tools successfully is increased. I guess that's from butchering. Let's see here. Genetic mutation. Huh. So that's two for this generation. Hmm. This snake meat tastes awful. 
Alright, so I've gathered a bunch of sticks. I don't exactly know what this does, so I'm just going to... I'm gonna carry these outside the immediate area so we don't just have like a random construction thing. But yeah, I really don't remember what these do. So yeah, this thing I don't remember. Let's see what it does. Start construction. Oh, deconstruct. No, 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 no. No, no, no. What, what's this do? Have I just been not reading correctly? That is very possible. Star construction. Okay, there we go. What is this build? New discovery. Branch barrier. Oh, so it's another wall. Alright, it's raining, but me and the boys are gonna go piss off a warthog. Alrighty. So, time to find the warthog. Or preferably another snake. Something I can murder. Alright, come here, come here, come on, come on. Yeah! I think one of our dudes just got gored, though. How you... How you doing there, buddy? I know it's your lack of a pointy stick. Oh, yep, yep, yep. You, you dropped your pointy stick. I'm gonna try to kill it. It's a dumb idea, but let's do it. Then we're gonna keep intimidating it until I get the achieve the thing. Get a nice Kopak on there, yeah. And look, there's bats. I don't know if we can interact with them, but bats. All right. Now we all got stick. We're gonna keep intim. We're gonna keep harassing this boar. Because I'm an idiot. Where'd it go? Oh shit, dead hominid? Where? Shit. Let's go take a look. I already got full neurons, but you know. Look, you did it right, but it failed. Wait, why are all my people down here? stick. Why the fuck is everyone down here? You. Take item. Why is my entire tribe down here? Like, even the babies were down there. Like, what the shit? That's got to be a glitch, because there's no way in hell all the babies would get down there. 
Well, it looks like everyone's back home, thankfully, but like, what the shit? <laughs> Let's see what we get. Reactions for escapes and counterattack. Hold A to prime dodging and counterattack. Move to choose direction and release for the time dodging attack. Okay. So that's three. Where training is needed. We move an item if dexterity is sufficiently developed as the ability to respond to a threat. I don't think we can get these until... Yeah. More training is needed. Like, the ones where it says more training is needed, those are the ones I can get. I think. I think. This is all an I think situation. Okay, so we can't get that one, I don't think. Can't get that one. I think our senses are as much as we can without mutations. Senses. 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 Oh! Nope, that's motricity. Moving on two legs has the potential to grow. So, more two leg movement. Um, genetic mutation on that one. Carrying item using both hands. So, I need to just move shit around. Probably build some shit, too. Everyone's gonna help me construct bullshit now. Come on. Come on, everybody. We're gonna learn how to construct random shit. Building. One less item is needed to complete construction. That's not how building works, but okay. Uh, genetic mutation. All right, I think we're doing pretty good. How many? One, two. Three. We had one over there, but I guess I'm wrong. So two more. And we can go on to the next generation. Group intimidation. That's... We need more group intimidation. So we're gonna harass the pigs some more. <laughs> Alright, so I was just doing some off-screen, you know, healing up, eating, sleeping, all that survival stuff and um while walking through the river i uh got motricity skill unlocked for walking on two legs again so uh medial medial lateral stability i think that means i can walk on two legs a bit longer walking to be on two legs in shallow water is increased that actually is very 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 useful ability to walk in shallow water can still grow Oh, that's interesting. One, two, three, four, five. So, I think I just found out a way to get an easy one. 
Come here, child. We're gonna go swimming. There we go. And that will be our last neuron for this generation. That'll be that'll be the one we lock in. Yeah. Posterial balance. Walking speed on two legs in shallow water is increased. Yay. Genetic mutation on that one. Cool. Okay. So, we got another generation's worth of lock-in. We've pretty much... We can't do any of the senses anymore. We've pretty much maxed out senses, I believe. Yeah, we got, you know, genetic mutations. Yeah. So yeah, senses, I think, are, are maxed out for right now. We definitely need to do more intimidation with a group. But singular intimidation needs a, a gene a mutation. Uh, let's see here. Genetic mutation. So I think building is also maxed out for now. Spawn to a threat has to be specialized. More training is needed. So, maybe I need to fight more? Spawn to a threat, the potential to be specialized. Hmm. So I need a, I need to fight more, I think. And then, uh, can't do either of those. Gross motor skills. So we need to make make things question mark uh more training on those so i need to just make a bunch of shit <laughs> uh carrying items using both hands so that's that's something i need to do uh genetic mutation genetic mutation all right so we're not doing too too bad let's go ahead and go up a generation And last one, boop. Passing a generation, woo. <laughs> Reinforce, maturing phase one. Don't know what that means, but yay. We got senses. We've got more senses. Oh, okay, that's it, just senses. Let's see here. Oh, beautiful. We got our two mutations solidified. They don't lead to anything. So, <laughs> just, just, they didn't really expand on what we can do. Uh, but yeah, I'm gonna get some babies off screen. Hopefully they'll give us some more mutations and everything. And then we'll, we'll work on what we can. I think we're getting really close to, um, being able to evolve, uh, without le losing anything. Now, with that in mind, when you do evolve, you do change location to a random location, and most settlement locations are not safe. So what I'm probably going to do before we evolve is explore on ahead and try to unlock some areas and stuff, and our goal would be to find a safe settlement. I think that will be what we do next episode. In fact, I'm going to call this episode here. We've made a lot of good progress. We killed a snake, pissed off a pig, uh, yelled at yelled at things. I don't know. Learned to walk in water. <laughs> so yeah, I'm going to call it there for today. Thank you guys so much for coming by. Please join me next time. I love you. And bye-bye.